He needs it. No matter how great he's doing, he needs to be motivated. Everybody's got a lot of shit going on in life. Don't we all get hit with stuff every day? And all of you guys in here will be with us in a year from now. I know you want loyalty, but guess what? If it was me, there's so much money on the line and this legacy that you built, you need to be around people that are one percenters that are willing to change. I'm just telling you, it's not my company to draw the line, but if somebody's in here and they're unwilling to grow, guess what? Just come up and say, hey man, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna change. Cool, thank you for letting me know. We'll let you go work across the street or you can put the coffee on in the morning and we'll pay you money that it, it, it pays people to put the coffee on in the morning, okay? I'm gonna tell you this, look, when it's time to go to war, you know that 100 year wave that a surfer waits for? You guys ever seen movies, right? Like Point Break, you remember Point Break? Remember that? Yeah. Remember Point Break when they had that wave and everybody grabbed their boards, traveled all the way across the country to go hit that wave? This is your 100 year wave. This is yours, this is yours. Guys, I'm gonna tell you this. This wave, are you gonna grab your board and go get it? Or are you gonna sit back and say, I hope that the wave stays on for a while. I'll go get it when I can. I'm gonna tell you this, I'm attacking the world and nothing's gonna get in my way. I'm not gonna let anybody snatch the hard earned success that we've put in. You know how I'm gonna win and you know how you're gonna win? With your team and only with your team. And if you're not doing every single thing in your power to push and motivate and inspire your team every day, you're letting the company down. And you're letting the enemy move in on our territory. Are we gonna move in on their territory with the tactical advantage and go kick their ass with social media and destroy them? Can I ask you a question? Does our leadership in here out heart the leaders in other stores? You know what a real, a real test would be? Hand out a piece of paper to all, people, all your salespeople and say, hey, do me a favor, write down the names of your mentors on this piece of paper, okay? Because I want to study them tonight. And guess what? When they leave the room, open up those pieces of paper and see if your name's on it. Listen, do you get to choose to be your kid's hero or do they have to choose you? Yeah, choose you. They have to choose you. Just because you're their father or mother, they don't have to choose you. They can choose someone else. Our goal is to go hard and to be their hero every day in our actions, right? Well, look, I'm gonna tell you this, everybody needs somebody in this world that will motivate and inspire them. Shouldn't it come from inside our company? You know, if I walk by one of my guys' office and I see them watching someone else on YouTube to get motivation, you know what I know immediately? It's not me. It's not me, because if they needed it, they'd come talk to me, because I'm their source. And that's what scares me, is that right now, Maybe we're not being leaders and we're being managers. Look, all you guys know how to pencil a deal. You know how to do your job, man. Come on. Yeah, sure, you need to manage your people to do a little bit more action while they're at work. But the deal is we're not leading and we're not inspiring. Our team needs to be motivated. Do you need to be motivated? He needs it. No matter how great he's doing, he needs to be motivated. Everybody's got a lot of shit going on in life. Don't we all get hit with stuff every day? We need each other. Okay? Do you guys, I'm asking you, are you a consumer in your company? Like you suck the life out of it? Or are you a contributor? Where's my needle movers? I mean in like culture, right? In fire, in passion in the company. When I walk into your stores, right? Are you a person? I'm like, man, that guy right there is moving the needle. 100% sure. I can see it in his face. He's got fire in his eyes. He's alive. When I talk to the sales crew, I'm like, hey man, who's pushing you? He's like him. Him, it's him every day. Are we having meetings that are boring or are we get fired up? Every time a customer buys a car, are we going through the roof with pure excitement and we're catching it all on social media? We have to today. And I was only at Dominic's store, but I'm gonna tell you when that lady bought a car and everybody came and went live with her, this lady started crying. She was excited. She was overwhelmed. She didn't know what to do. It was awesome, wasn't it, Sonia? It was amazing. And I'm gonna tell you this, when we make our customers feel that way, important, significant, number one, it shows the world who we are really as people, right? You really wanna win, right? Make your people feel like they're the most important people in the world, which they are, but catch it on social media.